this Formula One Mercedes is bigger in length and in width than the S-Class road car, <laughs> which is... The long wheelbase one. Which probably, is a long yeah. wheelbase one, which amazing. is by Absolutely some, some measure. One of the things that always amazes me when we see the car like this is how the driver is sitting here and the rear mm -hmm. axle line seems to be somewhere way over there on the yeah. horizon, so far away. We talked to Rob Wilson about this recently mm. and, and, and some Formula One engineers indeed have done some analysis of how it affects the feel for the driver. So mm. let's pace it out. Let's pace see. it out. So from from the driver, which is kind of his yeah. position is fixed to the front axle, you've got one, two, 2.7 metres to the rear axle, which is a huge distance. It is, compared with what Formula One, one cars used to be, sitting on the rear. Yeah. We must remember Sir Sterling Moss winning the 61 <laughs> Monaco Grand Prix with the side panels off the car. And we saw yep. so much, we saw the leg, the hand movement through the sides of the car. Wouldn't it be great to x-ray a current Formula One car so that we could see exactly that? And what would we see, Scarves? Well, there you are, <laughs> x-ray Formula One car. You can see exactly where the driver is seated quite accurately. Obviously, the cockpit and the driver's seat position is tightly regulated, uh, particularly towards the front axle, which kind of fixes the driver in a position. Mm. But that seating position is very reclined. Their head's just, what, 70 centimetres yeah. above the ground. But then their feet are much higher off. It's like sitting in yeah. a bath with your feet on the top. And that's what kind of makes the difference between this and the old reclining driving position, where the shoulders were back a bit more and the legs were yeah. more or less straight, weren't they? But this is very specific to mm -hmm. this to this era. But we do have the halo next year, so let's have mm -hmm. a look and see what the car will look like with the halo on, which isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're a halo fan, aren't you? Uh, it, it's a compromise. 